Hello. Yesterday I read a post on Facebook. Someone said I was not imagining that I would give up so much for Lent this year. Makes me smile and laugh because with the coronavirus crisis, our life is turned upside down and changed from day to day, hours to hours. What we considered normal only a few weeks ago is does not exist, it's not there. And the same can be said everywhere, everywhere. In our congregation, our church building, our clothes, the gathering face-to-face -face have been canceled. And let's be honest, it's not a question of weeks. It will be a question of months before we could gather again. And it's a challenge. It's a huge challenge for us. It challenged the model of church that we took for granted for centuries. And yet, I'm saying that we have this model for centuries, but we know that Christendom is over in this part of the world, for sure, in, in Canada. And we ought to find new ways to be the church, to survive, but. No, but, I'm saying but because not much has been done. And it's not just in the last years, in the last 30, 40 years. Because why? Well, we, as every human being, we prefer what is familiar. We sometimes lack imagination or courage or vision. It's always easier to remain the same, at the same place, than creating something totally different, totally new. But maybe this crisis with all the negative effect it will have on the health of the people, the economy, the, the social fra fabric, maybe this crisis will force us out of our zones of comfort, force us to do what need to be done for a long time, force us to walk on, walk on the path that we did not want to take. Because you know, we can be prepared, we, we can be careful, but we have to admit the evidence. Shit happens. And I'm sorry if you don't like these words, but it's still the truth. We can prepare for everything, but there's moments like that, like this one, once in a hundred years, that fall on us. And the question we will all have to answer is what we will do in face of this crisis. What will be our answer, our response? Last summer, I was going through very difficult times. I struggled deeply professionally emotionally i struggled with my mental health and one day i bought this simple compass and since then i kept it inside it became a symbol for me symbol that i should not lose my bearing i should focus on what is essential in my life, uh, my value, my faith. And during these times of crisis, during this time of Lent, I would say it's not time to give up. It's not time to give up hope. It's not time to give up our sanity. It's not time to give up our sense of community. It's not time to give up our faith. No, it's a time to double down. 
<laughs> double down on her efforts. So instead of watching, uh, you know, news channel and being on social media that all day long and, and, and often all that is happening, it sucks oxygen, it sucks our energy. Well, it's time maybe to think of others. Think to share resources, to continue to live our faith. And for this reason, I would like to invite you to, yeah, pray. Pray for those who are required to take care of us and provide essential services. While so many of us are back in our house in quarantine and isolation, there's a lot of people that don't have that choice. We can help our friends. Especially I'm thinking of those who are stuck at home with children because schools are closed. Help them in many ways. We can take time to reach out people by phone, by email, especially those who don't have a family, especially those who are lonely, don't have a huge network. Five minutes, a phone call. How are you doing? Is there something you need where we can take care of? We can decide to be bold. We can decide to be courageous. I have the firm conviction that we will get through this crisis together. Because I know that everyone, every one of you can do is her, them part to take care of one another, to protect one another, to be there for one another. Because God is still with us, even when we don't perceive it, even when we doubt it, even when we are so deep in the valley of darkness or valley of shadow, when, as said in Psalm 23, God is still there. And this is true today. This, is, this will be true tomorrow. This will be true forever. So thanks be to God and Amen.